These are the top three ways that I'm using the Elgato Stream Deck in online education to be a lot more efficient and dynamic in my engagement with students and in my overall workflow. The number one way that I'm using it is by taking advantage of the text tool. And what this text tool allows you to do is to program keys inside of your Elgato system to essentially paste whatever it is that you program to that button. So for example, I do a lot of grading on my students' papers, and so maybe one of them might be uh, feedback number one, right? And uh, something that I often bring up in my grading might be, uh, please make sure to add APA7 formatting, right? And so something like that can be pre-programmed to it. You can also use it if you have repetitive tasks or uh, when you are creating a document, adding elements to it, you can format that into that text section and then post it onto whatever other document you need. So for example, in this case, when you go here in a Word document or inside of your learning management system or whatever uh, platform you're using, all you would have to do is click that button and it automatically pastes whatever text you had into that source. So again, that will make it so that you can be a lot faster, more efficient with the limited time that you have as an educator, as a professional in higher education. The number two way that I am using the Elgato Stream Deck to be more efficient and more dynamic in online higher education is by also taking advantage of the website or hotkeys or any type of shortcut that can be programmed into one of these keys. So to just give you an example, um, if you're like me, uh, you probably have a ton of different uh, bookmarks and, and things of that nature. So let's say for, for these purposes, you type in the URL for the website that you want to access when you get to work in the morning. And then when you bring up a, a web browser, all you would have to do now is click that button and it automatically redirects to that website for you. And so that might be, uh, in this case, right, we're going to Point Loma Nazarene University's Master's in Higher Education program, or you could go to your Gmail, or you can go to any other so that you don't have to have clutter on your browser. It just goes directly to that page. Uh, other shortcuts that you could have as well by adding them here is to open up a program. So that might be your uh, music software, or it could be Word, or it could be any other application on your computer. With a click of a button, you are there. And the third way that I'm using uh, the Elgato Stream Deck to not only just be more efficient, but lead to more dynamic engagement in online uh, education or in video conferencing is by programming it to work with my video conferencing software or OBS. I pre-program it to be inside of here. So this might be text that allows me to say hello and then a quick intro to myself as you often do in video conferencing uh, engagements. This would allow me to toggle between mute and unmute my video, the chat, the participants allow me to leave and all kinds of features, including my light. And so I have the Elgato key light and I can turn off and turn on my lights uh, from here. Likewise, when I am doing a session, even just like this, I can program all of my scenes and slides and sources inside of the Elgato Stream Deck to transition from something like this to this or this with a push of a button, allowing me to stay engaged with my audience without having to be looking down or moving a mouse, all from a click of a button inside of the Elgato Stream Deck. So I hope this was helpful for you to see how I'm using the Stream Deck to be more efficient and lead to more dynamic engagement. Let us know in the comments below, how are you using this or how might you consider using it in higher education or in education for your purposes.